Bye. 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 Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title below, today we are going to be going through tips and tricks on how to survive the quarantine, how to survive online school, how to survive being stuck in your house all day long during this quite unfortunate time that we are going through, which is COVID-19. Before I begin this video, I hope that everyone is staying safe, social distancing, staying inside, staying healthy. I hope you guys are all healthy and I hope you guys can find my videos as a safe haven to come to if you guys are feeling anxious or worried or scared. I hope you guys can find some sort of peace and serenity within my videos. I don't want to get too deep here. I want to get into the fun stuff. So I made a whole list of stuff here on my iPad. So I'm just going to read them out to you and explain them and we're just going to have a good time. So without further ado, let's get into our quarantine survival guide. So the first thing I have here on my list is to set a schedule for yourself and try your best to stick to it. Now I have made a schedule on my iPad and on my phone. I have them like synced up together I guess and I have alarms set for different times of the day where I'm supposed to do different things so I try and get up at like 8 o'clock in the morning every day get started on my homework or do a little at home workout if I can. Set an alarm for when to wake up because I know with not having to get up early and get ready go to school and things like that we can easily fall into that trap of sleeping in until like one in the afternoon. Don't stay up until three in the morning like us. <laughs> Yeah. Literally. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Don't stay up until 3 in the morning every single day and then wake up at like 1 p.m. Also, make a to-do list for yourself. Write down all your assignments that your teachers give. I know I get assignments every single day, Monday through Friday, unfortunately. So what I like to do is I like to obviously sign into all my classes and then make a to-do list, but 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 i have a suggestion with regards to making to-do lists do not write everything down at once because you will overwhelm yourself and you won't get everything done trust me i've done this so many times where i'm like okay i'm gonna get this done and that done i'm gonna do this assignment and i'm gonna do that and i don't end up getting those things done until the very last minute which is very you know irresponsible on my part so what i strongly suggest you do is write down one task or one assignment at a time and once you complete that task check it off and then write your next task when I make my to-do list that way I find myself getting a lot more things done in the day than I usually do so it's like less overwhelming you know there's not a lot of pressure on you to get a lot of things done because you don't see a lot of things on your to-do list so you don't think that you have a lot of things to do when you really you do you just don't see them set aside time for yourself take small breaks in between your work I know working for like three hours straight is not healthy I know for me at least I don't like working for three hours straight. Do not work yourself to the bone. Give yourself time to regroup, take breaks, breathe, watch a couple YouTube videos, go on Instagram, TikTok. Just take breaks. Set aside time for yourself and to, you know, like refresh your mind and things like that because at the end of the day, self care is the best care. Tip number two treat the day as if you're actually going to school or work if you have a job. Get up, get ready, shower, put on makeup if you want to put on cute clothes make sure they're comfortable though not like tight jeans but be sure to get up and get right in the shower get ready as if you have to go to school i find myself a lot more motivated and ready for the day when i actually get ready and put makeup on and do my hair and things like that i don't know why i don't know what it does to me but it makes me feel like okay i have a purpose and i'm not just sitting in my pajamas in my sweats not doing anything so make sure you you know get ready put on some cute clothes do your makeup if you want to do your hair things like that you'll definitely feel ready and prepared to take on the day tip number three stay in touch with your friends whether it be facetime text messaging snapchat instagram even if you have to like email your friends back and forth just stay in touch with people who are not around you so you don't feel completely isolated don't completely isolate yourself from the rest of the world who says you can't be on facetime with your friends as you can see i love these people right here the people that i'm on facetime with right now 
This is Javon, and that's Nyla. She's cleaning. Stay in touch with your friends. Stay in touch with other people. You'll thank me later. Check on each other care for each other we're going through some very trying times right now so not everyone is in the best state of mind so just check on your friends and your family members and people that you love people that you care about lastly we have pamper and take care of yourself this kind of relates to the first one where i spoke about setting aside time for yourself but i'm gonna go more in depth regarding you know pampering yourself i know i love to pamper myself every two weeks so bi-weekly i love to have a pamper day i love to you know wash my hair do my nails stay as active as you can work out yoga dance do it all just move around make sure your body is still working like I said I like to do my hair I like to do a face mask things like that listen to music listen to an audio book a podcast read a book if you like reading books I don't really like reading books I prefer audio books and podcasts and music and things like that so make sure you are taking care of yourself keeping up with your skincare routine you know take care of your hair it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to take care of yourself you know so yeah that is it that is everything that I have for my quarantine survival guide how to survive the quarantine how to survive online school and social distancing and all that stuff I really hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to give it a like down below comment down below anything you want because that's what the comment section is for and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one and many more follow all of my social medias they'll be listed down below and I guess that is it I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video